It would be an understatement to say that fighting game fans are eating good at the moment. It feels like every franchise is firing on all cylinders, which is why it's just great news to see that Fatal Fury City of the Wolves will be joining them next year. We were lucky enough to sit down recently and to talk to some of the developers about the upcoming game, about the idea of introducing the new rev system, bringing back old favorites, new faces, and everything in between, and how you go about making a game like this versus making a game like King of Fighters. It was an insight into the design process, and it was really great to spend some time with them. And of course, as a little added bonus, I also got to challenge one of the best players in the world, and the result of that is, well, at the end of the video, and you can see that for yourself. Hopefully you enjoy, and feel free to leave a comment. Why not bring it back now, as fighting games are in such a great position, Fail Fury is such a prestigious title, it seems like it really should be in amongst all of the titles that are succeeding and like having their moment in the spotlight. Yeah. Like, how does it feel to finally have it like out at an event, be showing it off, like getting that fan reception and just being that much closer to like getting it public sort of thing? いたってて、まあどんな気持ちでしょうか。ああ、もうとても嬉しいです。結構ね、みんなやってくれてるんで嬉しいです。I mean, he's head over heels, you know, he's just he's so happy to see everybody enjoying the game, playing it out here. Everyone coming out to show the support, so yeah, he couldn't be happier. So obviously everyone knows King of Fighters and, you know, Fatal Fury, they they're kind of linked, they there's crossovers and things. What is one of the key differences when you're approaching making a Fatal Fury game compared to a King of Fighters game after such a long time between previous titles? What is one of the key things that you want to make sure you get right about Fatal Fury?あの、なんかお仕置かないと、もうこれ完璧にしないといけないっていうなんかあるんでしょうか。開発や。あの、あの、まずフェイタルフューリー長い間作ってなかったので、一番重要なことはスタッフ全員がフェイタルフューリーシ
And then that's how we're like, okay, well this person, wa from the original game there's a lot of um, open ending uh, endings for a lot of the characters, so we had to close up. So characters that were had unresolved endings, we had to bring them back. And by creating that story, we're like, oh, okay, this person, this character has to come back. They have unresolved business. And that's kind of how they, they went through it. And of course they went through a lot of characters that they had to uh, put on the cutting room floor, but um, that's, that's essentially how it worked uh, by, by going with a synopsis. So can you tell us a little bit more about the story of City of the Wolves? じゃあ、あの、ま、ストーリーに関してですね、あの、ま、一言でま、ちょっとストーリーについて、あの、ちょっと教えていただけませんでしょうか。どんなものなんですか。えっと、ま、前作が途中で終わってたので、今回はしっ
whatever they make, they, they make the best beats, the best, best bops, so we just kind of leave it to them. Just cook. Yeah. yeah. Whatever they give, it's like, all right, that's awesome. Yeah, I don't think there's ever really been a thing like we weren't feeling the music. It's every time they, they give us something, they've been cooking real good. So. Something I'm really curious about is you mentioned that there was a lot of the younger members of the dev team that came in. Uh, did you get them to play some of the older Fatal Fury games? Like, what was it like watching them uh, kind of interact with that on the old legacy before they then started working on the new game? My thinking, uh, my, uh, no. そうですね。まあ、開発的にも開発、えっと、拡大してる中で、まあ、あの、みんな大半の人はYouTube見てますけどね。Yeah, <laughs> definitely. Um, it wasn't like we had a, like a strict regimen where they had to go and, and you know, beat the games, uh, you know, one CC clear. There wasn't anything like that. It must be um, really kind of invigorating as a company to have the the old core working with like new blood coming in and like seeing what ideas they can add and just seeing how the game kind of evolves over time because of like this mix of remembering the core, what's important, but also seeing what we can do with new ideas. やっぱりね、あの、昔の、昔ながらの開発だと最近若者の開発だが、もう交流するのはすごい、ま、どんな気持ちなんでしょうか。どんな気持ち不思議な気持ちですね。なんかチャレンジとかあったりとか。ああ
Wolfgang Krauser. Uh, he loves Wolfgang Krauser. Let's Wolf. Well, Wolfgang, yes. Excellent. So, uh, do you want to tell us a bit more about, like, like you said, there's a release date, um, what platforms it's going to be on, and all of that kind of, you know, social platforms, etc. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just to wrap up. All right. So yeah, uh, obviously we're going to be releasing on pretty much all the modern platforms, so PC, PlayStation, Xbox. Uh, it'll be April 24th next year, 2025, uh, 59.99 euros USD, including the season pass characters as well. So it's a very good deal. Wow, that's really good. Uh, is that going to have crossplay from day yeah, one? Yeah, crossplay and rollback from day one. Lobbies, Excellent. yeah, color edit mode, which everybody's very happy about. With we're trying as well. jukebox mode. Like again, every, anytime we make something for a previous game, we usually try to iterate and make sure it continues on. Yes, and we're always yes, yes. improving on our things. So it, it makes sense rather than just discarding these these things in the past. It's yeah. like no, it, yeah. they work now. Keep using them. Yep. yep. So where is the best place for people to follow and keep up with what's going on? Uh, so SNKP official on Twitter is probably our most active SNS. So go out there. We're always putting out new news, trailers and such. So, new yeah. trailer shows up on there. Obviously, you can follow our uh, YouTube as well. Yeah. And also, of course, wishlist the game on every platform you can. We also have an official Discord. Uh, lots of members in there, lots of cool friends to make in there. So definitely feel free to pop in there as well. Excellent. Love to see you guys here. Guys, thank you so much. This has been yeah, no fantastic. Thanks a lot. Thank you. After we were finished answering questions, we still had a few minutes left, so I was foolish enough to challenge one of the best fighters in the world to a uh, sparring match, and well, it went like this. Try to keep up. Round one. Get ready. Fight SPC. Hopefully you survived better than I did in that footage, so uh, why don't you go and just give me a pity like? I guess that's a thing now. Yeah, you can do that, can't you? It's the least you could do after seeing me just get utterly destroyed. Like a button, why not?